Can I change this? Yep. This is idiotic. I hate to do it, sort of. But when you can't you can't properly design your boss, then And people were like, oh, parry him. It's like, well, you can't parry him. It doesn't work. See, that's so slow. It takes you... By the time you've Why hit him with R. I'm a witcher no more. That was long ago. So you're a higher thug now. Congratulations. Look at that. Like, the you delay is huge. Good. You fight well, but you were better than us. The muscle, One thing the wild hunt could take from you. Look, even on easy, with hitting him with hard attacks, the damage is insanely low. Just oh, that is awful. What are they doing? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. What a power you was that? Even they will all keep quiet. Your vest time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. Wow, that was terrible. Almost as terrible as his Where's name tattoo. We killed a few of his men. The rest ran. Is Letho dead? On his way to Flotsam. How do you know? He wants to find Triss. Kill him. Before he contacts the others. You shouldn't have trusted a Dwan. Let's go. We can't go there, Geralt. The garrison. Of course. I forgot what kind of warriors you are. Mesthead, Gwynblade. Good luck. I'm not sure if he complimented me or insulted me. Um, where's my sword? Search. Robust long sword. Hmm, that would have been nice to have during the fight. But yeah, another person was like, oh yeah, I just reloaded an old save, went and created a son of bombs and bombed him. It's like, really? It's like, is this what we have to resort to to beat a boss? Like, that's pathetic. Like, if he would have been legit hard, like, that would have been fun. Like, a fun, challenging fight. But he wasn't at all. It was just cheese. Don't make my abilities not work and then try to tell me that, oh, no, we're just making the fight harder. If you can't wake the fight work around the abilities you've given me, then you need to rework the abilities that you've given me, period. I'll stop trying to go on about it, but I'm just incredibly disappointed because the game's been so good so far. But that fight was just amazingly moronic. Especially after the last two fights. Well, I guess that big one dude is, was it like an actual ball? Oh, I can't loot these guys? Come on. Like the shell guy was just a regular mob. Oh, wait, now I can? It was just a regular mob. But like the... The tentacle guy? Like, yeah, that was like a cool, legit fight. Like, it wasn't that hard. It was, granted, it's the first fight. But it was fun. Like, it was cool learning his little tricks. It's like, oh, okay, I need to do this. I need to look out for this. But that was just, like, yeah, your powers don't work. Yeah, he hits you right at the start of the fight. Yeah, he's got a fuck ton of hit points. Yeah, his powers don't work like yours do. Deal with it. I mean, I'm assuming he has upgrades to make Quinn last longer, maybe. So that instead of just like one hit, it takes several. I don't know. Because I think I saw something like that. Do I need to level, by the way? I don't think so. No. But we better drink potions, because you never know. What we might run into. Probably not. It's probably a waste of potions. But yeah, I'm just really disappointed.
There he goes, littering again. I don't know why he does that. Boy, drinking those little potions. That was a lot of work. I need to find a third potion to to be using consistently. Fuck off. They're like, okay. Fine. Now these spider guys pop out again. I'll kill these, yeah. There we go. And now... <laughs> Targeting works again. See, that's the other thing. Why couldn't I target him? That's so weird. No, please. Loot the body. Loot. No, loot. Loot. Really? Wait, what? The body's... Never mind. Don't even question it. Don't question the fact that the body was down there, but the loot was up on the hill. I mean, I understand what happened there, but it's a little sad. And I tried to be kind of nice because I know they're a small development studio, but Jesus Christ. Like, some of this shit is just mind-numbing. So this asshole better leave Triss alone, even though I have a pretty good guess that he's kidnapped her. And by the time we get there, it'll be too late. This guy's just standing around. Probably should put my sword away, I guess. People get antsy when I run around in town with my sword out. Finally, we'll show the non-human rabble their place. What the hell? What the hell did I walk in on? Oh well. You guys are just standing around doing nothing. On our toil. Ouch. Well, these people are all gonna die. <laughs> as we just, as Geralt just stands here watching them. Like, that probably hurts. Oh, wait. I should probably do something. Oh, the fuck up. <laughs> Look, lads, another freak. What do you want? You want blood? A sour business. Piss off. Make it in my business. You should have stayed home, you bastards. Get the freak. Kill him. Not too worried about these little bitches. Why does repose just not work sometimes? I don't get it. Oh, he turned around quick. <laughs> Bitch. Oh! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Damn it! Stop hitting him with that end of the sword! <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh shit, I didn't see the guy who was still behind, alive behind me. I was wondering where he went. What the hell? I don't know what that symbol was, but... Get that backstab in, son. A little early on the push there. Damn it, I'm trying to practice here, jerk. I'll fi happily kill all you assholes. Not even a thing, like a chicken ring. Come on. Nice. I don't know what happened to my mouse there. He kind of freaked out. Anybody else uh, want to fuck with the freak? Anybody? No? Guys? Want to fuck with the freak? I didn't think so. Didn't think so. God, please tell me I get to kill What's-His-Face. Because I will. I mean, yeah, I could have told those guys to go home, but fuck that noise. They're assholes. They're going to die. And of course, they didn't have enough to take. What? Are you talking to me? I'm just going to let you live. Just don't, uh, don't step out of line. Wait. Okay. Okay. 
I'll, I'll eat dust. Uh, it's the, oh yeah, that's right. She's in the inn. You're killing innocents. Innocents. Who was it that slaughtered our lads in the forest? Stinking non-humans. Geralt. And now. Okay. Damn so it. what will it be, Keep innkeeper? Cutting people off. They killed my son. Damned elves. I want their blood for that. These elves had nothing to do with your son's death. Don't shed their blood. <laughs> He's like counting. Now that you mention it, yeah, leave them be. Go home, folks. Thank you, Gwynblade. We'd be dead if not for you. The sooner we flee, the better. Take care. <laughs> nice tattoo. Shut up. Hell. I don't have any proof, but my coin's on Lorito. Rulers are always looking for a way to cover their mistakes and failures. And the mob always loves a circus, whether merry or bloody. This town will never be the same. A time of disdain has come. All right, Daniel Lyon. How did the rioting start? They say it's revenge for those soldiers who died following Roach. But they were just thugs on Lorito's pay. Almost no one misses them. Spontaneous riot my ass. Lorito's staying out of it, keeping his hands clean. But his thugs are inciting the mob. I've seen several soldiers in civilian garb leading it. But you won't find any proof against the Commandant. I don't intend to. Why don't the guards do anything? Why would they? The squirrels slaughtered their cronies, and Lorito hasn't given them any orders. We need to find Triss. Last I saw her, she was on her way to meet Sheila in her rented quarters at the inn. I told Triss about the megascope Zoltan's been building. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. <laughs> Come Jesus. on. Hold on, I need to loot. Where are we going? Hey. So it's interesting. It's interesting that you can actually hear conversations inside the inn, even though you're outside. We're gonna murder them, don't worry. What's up? Come on. What sort of freak is that? Shut up. It's, it's just contact scorcher. lenses. Want some non human blood? Ah! Defending traitors, are we? Grab him! Come on, lads! Slaughter him with the others! What the hell? Please take your turn. Thank you. Red a little fire, Scarecrow. I told him. Hey, somebody's helping me. Kill these assholes. Who in the back, son? We really can't do the slow attacks here. Wait, where the hell's Danny Lion? Probably writing a fucking poem about this. Come on, you little bitch. I'm gonna finish you off. He's like, hey guys, where are you at? I'm gonna guess this guy's on our side. Please tell me you guys at least had stuff. Twine, iron ore. Everybody carries around a little iron ore in their pocket for luck. Orins. Sorry for the last boss fight, guys. I know it could get irritating just hearing me bitch about it, but I can't help myself. You know that by now if you watch me. You know that's how I am. Alright, so we're almost out of... Running out of potion again. I have a feeling it's going to run out right at the wrong time again. 
Wait a minute, it's inside again? Oh, oh, it's we're going to what's your face's apartment. <sighs> Come on, Dandelion. Blood. Got a bad feeling about this. Now oh, blood blood on the door is always a good omen. It means party inside. Oh. Maybe not. Right as the potions were out. Not good. Hmm. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. I use my wolfer vision. Who the hell is this? Sheila's bodyguard. Uh-oh. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. You're an idiot, Danny Lyon, and I hate you. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. Not everything. Those plates still look fine. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. She killed her own guard, cut herself, and then teleported. Dandelion, look. What is it? The hell? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. She peeping on the sorceress? Damn, I like your style. Run to the brothel above the end. How about if I walk to the brothel above the end? Why does it gotta be wrong? Why is everything fast, fast, fast? Go, go, go. Take your time. Smell the roses. Come on, Dandelion, you know exactly how to get to the brothel, I'm sure. Wait, the brothel's not upstairs. Oh, that, oh, 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 that part of the brothel. There's like two. Like I said, Dandelion knew exactly where it was. He <laughs> went there with his eyes closed. What's up? Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deri, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No, she was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole, but if you were busy. We were, until we heard voices beyond the wall. Sheila normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound. But there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. Huh. She meant Sheila. No Even shit, I thanks, figured Daniel that Lyon. out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room. A woman, Triss, called Philippa. Hmm. Greetings, Philippa. Whoa, sex toys, hey. Triss, you're looking nice. Somebody's Why are you Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. What the hell? Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? That's interesting. It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Hensolt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Hensolt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus. Huh. It needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. Hmm. Dandelion, any idea who Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart. Sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania, a grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine, politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way, so devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court, which if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard. 
just before those murderers came. They kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming. When the murderers left, searching for other victims, I peered outside. Thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margot. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yarveth. A letter? The names of Darai's killers. He'll understand. <laughs>